Hey everyone, my name is Zach Hill from Atlas Bench, and today I'm excited to showcase Atlassian Rovo, Atlassian's brand new AI knowledge search and discovery tool designed to change the way you access information across your Atlassian products and third-party tools, enhance your automation, and do actions with custom agents directly within Atlassian products and third-party tools. Today, we're gonna go over a variety of use cases ranging from automation, how to create your own custom agents, and some other really great things related to unified search. So let's get right into it. So this is where all of our employees at our organization go to submit requests to IT or other departments to get things that they need. So what I'm doing now is submitting a human resources ticket. I'm an employee, I've been here for a little while now, I wanna learn a little bit more about my stock plan. So let me scroll down and actually raise this request. So I'm gonna say, when should I expect to see my stock award? And my description will be, I've been at the company for a couple of months, but I haven't seen my stock award yet. When should I expect it to show up in my account? I'm going to click send. Now what we're gonna look at is after I've clicked send in the back end. Atlassian Rovo has generated a potential response to this inquiry for the support team to go approve. And if it's approved, they can instantly serve that to me, vastly cutting down their time to response and improving their CSAT score. So let me show you how we can do that. Okay, so one of our employees has created a ticket asking about their stock plan. Now I'm taking the persona of a customer support agent. I'm in our human resources service project. I can see my request right here. When should I expect to see my stock award? Let me click on that request. As you can see here, there's the description I put, the summary. And if I scroll down here, our global agent has done something really cool. Our global agent that we've created with Atlassian Rovo. It has made an internal note with a potential response to this inquiry. So it says, hello. Zach.hill at atlasbench.com. Thank you for raising the request. It's linking the request. And then it gives me a nice summary. It says new hire stock awards are typically approved in the month following your start date. For example, if you begin employment in May, your award would generally be granted in June, so on and so forth. And it gives a source for that, the stock FAQs. Okay, so if I were to click the stock FAQs here, I'm going to get taken directly to that confluence page, that internal confluence page that this employee can look at and see all the information that they need to know about their stock plan. So I've shown you how Atlassian Rovo can enhance out of the box Jira automation. Now I want to show you how we can create custom no code agents in Atlassian Rovo that can automate actions across Atlassian products and third-party tools. So if I scroll down, we see some of the agents that we have created already. So let me click create an agent. Okay, I'm going to click skip to manual setup. Here's the great dialogue where we can create custom no-code agents in Atlassian Rovo. So let's give our agent a name. We're gonna name it mobile development agent. Let's give it a description. This agent is trained only on our mobile development confluence space and mobile program Jira project. Let's give it some instructions. Instructions are a great way where you can change the tone of voice of your agents, makes them take on certain personas. If I go to more on writing instructions for an agent, Atlassian has some awesome documentation on how to instruct your agents to get them to say exactly what you want them to say. Now, if I scroll down, conversation starters. Conversation starters are frequently asked questions that as soon as someone opens your agent, they're gonna be able to click these and ask a question. If I click generate conversation starters, what documentation do I need for mobile development? Can you help me find project details quickly, et cetera? So as soon as someone opens that agent, they click that, ask that question immediately. Now, this is where things get juicy. Down in knowledge here, I can choose what data from my Atlassian products that this agent is trained on. Now, I only wanna reference two specific areas. So I'm gonna click this toggle. In Confluence, I want to reference one space. So I'm gonna select that space. I want that to be the mobile development Confluence space. So only that space this agent is trained on. And then Jira, what Jira project do I wanna reference? Well, I wanna also reference our mobile program Jira project. So this is an agent now trained on our mobile development confluence space and our mobile program Jira project. And it's as easy as that 
to create an agent in Atlassian Rovo. Now what I'll do is click create. And there you have it. We've actually created that agent in Atlassian Rovo. So what are we going to do next? Well, let's ask it a question. So what question am I going to ask? I'm going to ask, can you provide the requirements list for mobile app version two, including related objectives, milestones, and links to Jira epics and issues. Okay. And there we have it. We have our requirements list. So we have our objectives, our success metrics, our milestones, and then we also ask for the epics. So we have all those related epics that can be found in that confluence page. And it's linking directly to that Confluence page in our mobile development Confluence space. So very great way to have a custom agent trained from Confluence space in Jira project siloed to have a different use case for every single team. Now I want to show you how we can use actions with Atlassian Rovo agents to automate products directly within our chat interface here. So let me ask it a question. We experienced a priority P1 incident affecting payment processing and billing services where customers were unable to complete transactions due to persistent timeouts. This issue lasted an hour and seven minutes, et cetera. Please generate a confluence page in the IT operations space based on this incident and structure it following this example. Now, what is this example? Well, we we'll click PIR and we're going to click billing outage post mortem. So we're going to reference a past post incident report to use as context in the output of this agent. So I'll click submit here. Okay. And there we have it. Our confluence page has been generated in our IT operations space, payment processing and billing timeout errors. We have a lot of great content filled in. Obviously someone's going to have to go in and complete this content because we don't have all this detail yet. But if I scroll down, do I want to actually create this page in the IT operations space? Yes, I do. All I have to do is click confirm. And if I scroll down, here is our brand new Confluence page that we just created with an action inside the chat interface of our IT operations Rovo agent. Really, really great stuff here. But I want to ask it one more thing. I want to take it a step further. Let me say, can you now add a comment to the generated Confluence page tagging Elena Grant, asking her to complete the post-mortem details? Let me click submit. All right, so we have our comment here on our new document. It's asking me to confirm. I will click confirm. Great, the comment has been applied. Now I have just to click on our page and we will take a look at that. Okay, so now we are inside the page that we just created via an Atlassian Rovo agent. And as you can see, we have our comment. Hi, Elena Grant, could you please complete the postmortem details? And then we have the page that we created in our IT operations space with natural language. Now we are inside a huge part of Atlassian Rovo, which is Rovo search. Traditionally in Atlassian products, depending on the product you're in, you can only search across that single product. Now with Rovo search, I can search across the entire Atlassian product suite and also my third party tools as well. Great classical ROI here. I'm saving employees time, trying to find information, cutting that down, saving the business money and ensuring they can focus on higher level tasks. So let me ask a question to Rovo search. I'm going to ask, I'm just going to type in notifications upgrade. I'm going to search that. And what has this words in it? We have a bunch of stuff, but what product do I want to choose from? So right now we've got Confluence, Jira, Compass, Loom, Figma. Loom is great. If you have Loom, you could search through all that juicy metadata of transcripts, action items that you get from quickly filming these videos. But I want to search through Jira. And there we have it. Here is all of our issues for notifications upgrade for mobile deployments. We have that. That's the exact issue I was looking for. So Rovo search is great for searching across all your products. You can type in very vague statements and find exactly what you need. Now I want to show you what it's like right now. If you don't have Atlassian Rovo, how that is to search for the same thing. I'm in an Atlassian instance that does not have Rovo enabled and I'm in Confluence. I just want to quickly show you what it would be like if I just did the search, that notifications upgrade search that I just did in Rovo search in an Atlassian instance that does not have Rovo, just with the native Confluence search. So let me do notifications upgrade. I will search that. 
As you can see here, it is just pulling up Confluence pages. I don't get anything from Compass. I don't get anything from Jira, anything from Figma. It's just your standard search. Think about the power of Atlassian Rovo Search, how it enables you to connect all of these tools and access that data very quickly. McKinsey came out and said that the average knowledge worker spends 1.8 hours looking for information a day. If we can cut that down by even 20 or 30%, we're talking about massive return on investment for the business. So this is all I want to touch on today. My name is Zach Hill from Atlas Bench. Feel free to contact us at info at atlas-bench.com. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a good one.